Hello friends, welcome to I Cook and Paint. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, refreshing lemon lime soda. This is a lacto-fermented soda and it's really good for you and it turns out nice and fizzy. I'm going to carbonate it with this ginger bug. And this is just ginger, sugar and water that you allow to ferment for a few days. And when it gets bubbly, it becomes a starter for your own homemade soda pop. So you add it to your soda and it'll naturally carbonate it. To learn how to make a ginger bug, just click the link down below and you'll go to my blog and there'll be instructions and a recipe on how to make and maintain one. The other link is for the recipe for this video. If you haven't used your ginger bug for over a week, you're going to want to feed it some ginger and sugar and then let it sit out for several hours so it gets nice and bubbly. As soon as your ginger bug's nice and bubbly, you'll be able to make this refreshing lemon lime soda pop. So to make one quart of lemon lime soda, you're going to need all these lemons and limes. Just kidding, you're only going to need one of each. You're going to want to wash them really well because we're going to be using the rinds. Then you'll want to take some dechlorinated water and pour it into a pot. And don't forget, you can do this yourself by letting your tap water sit out for 24 hours. Or if you're in a hurry, just use bottled water. Next, roll your lemon and lime so they'll be easy to juice. Now you want to peel the rinds off the lemon and lime and add them into the water. Try not to get too much of the white part in there or your soda is going to be bitter. But if you want your soda to be a little bit bitter, that's not a bad thing. Leave some on. Now you want to bring this to a boil for about 5 minutes. Have it on a nice low simmer with the lid on and you do this so your soda doesn't end up reducing. So this is what it looks like after about 5 minutes. Now you'll want to take it off the heat and add in half a cup of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Stir it until the sugar is all dissolved, then cut your lemon and lime in half and squeeze all their juice into the soda. I'm using a strainer to do this, but you could go ahead and put all of this into the pot and then strain it all together after. But I'm just doing it this way. Now I want to take the rinds out. And now I'm going to take it off the heat and cool it completely. If the liquid's too hot, it'll kill the ginger bug. So once it's cooled, you want to take your ginger bug, your nice, bubbly, sweet smelling ginger bug, measure out a quarter cup of it and add it into your soda. Mix it all around. As for your ginger bug, you're going to want to feed it more ginger and sugar. And this is to keep it alive. So either chop or grate more ginger, leave the skin on and then add in some sugar, top it off with some water and make sure you don't use anything metal to stir it. And then you want to put this in the fridge, maintain it every now and then by adding more ginger and sugar, and put the lid on and leave it loose to let oxygen in. Okay, now we're going to take our soda and pour it into bottles. You can pour it into a plastic bottle or into a bottle with a swing top lid like this one. You only want to fill them about two thirds full because you have to allow room for gas to build up inside the bottle. Plastic bottles are actually really good when you're making these sodas because in a couple of days, if they feel really firm, that means your soda is carbonated. Now just screw the lid on really tight and let this sit in a warm place for a few days. Don't worry if your soda doesn't carbonate in two or three days. If it's really cold in your house, it can take as long as six or seven days. On hot days in the summer, it can take as little as six hours. But this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see all these little bubbles forming on the top, and then you can pop it in the fridge to chill and enjoy it. And now you have yourself a healthy, probiotic, naturally carbonated lemon lime soda. Do you like to make ginger bug sodas? Let me know about it by leaving me a comment below. And for more great recipes and to check out my paintings, go to iCookandPaint.com and I will see you soon. Bye!